Welcome to the Support Center. My name is Tom. We're going to look at the Manage Navigation Tool. Now, the Navigation Tool is something that we use quite often, and you will use this, say you add a new page to your site, before the families, either public or logged in, can see or link to this page, you'll need to edit your navigation. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm logged into my admin site. There's a few different ways to get to the navigation tool. The one I like to use is over here on navigation. I can also on my admin homepage, I can click on this navigation icon. And then the third way to get there is through appearance and the navigation. I'll take you the same tool. Now there are three different areas to the navigation. You have your top menu, side menu, and orphaned. The top menu, these are items, navigation items that appear either below or above your header. The side menu are items that appear to the left or right of your site. And then orphaned, these are items, whether they're pages or tools, that do not appear on your navigation whatsoever. They still exist on your site, they're just not on your navigation. So to build these out, it's as simple as grabbing the item, dragging it, and dropping it, and clicking Save. Once we save it, we can come back to our family site and refresh. And there it is, it's that easy. I grab the item, drag it, drop it, save it, refresh, another item. Now I don't have to save between each drag and drop. I can add multiple items that I want to add, save it, come back and refresh, and I can see these being built out for me. So there's the basics of the tool. Now to get a little more advanced, there's some security you can set behind these things. So right now, if I look at my legend, I have public navigation links, that's green. I have secure navigation links, and I have both. So the difference between these three items would be the public, the green, only people that are not logged in can see those links. The secure, only people that are logged in can see the secure links and both will appear for both logged in and not logged in. Pretty straightforward. So to change that, I would double click on the item and I can change it, public, secure, or both. So let's say I only want secure to see the calendar, classified, I'll do secure. Uh, maybe my FAK, I will do public only. Directory, secure, and the form, secure. Okay, so remember I have five links here on my directory, on my navigation. I click Save Navigation, five links. If I come over here to my family site, one, two, three, four, five. If I refresh, remember I set FAQs to public only, FAQs disappears. If I log out, FAQs there because it's the only nav link that I've set to publicly accessible only. So there I'm logged back in and FAQs is not there because again it's set to publicly accessible only. I can change that to both. Don't forget to save. I almost did. Save navigation. Come back here and refresh. And there it shows up because I'm logged in. Now I can do some little bit more fancy things. I can actually nest my navigation links. Let's say I want to add my manage number my membership card, excuse me, to the directory as a nested link. So there's nested, it's underneath it. And I'm going to make that secure, save it. So if I come back here and refresh, I'll see I have my directory and then that nested membership card that I put underneath it. And you can nest as many as you want. So maybe I want the mailing list tool over here. There it is. Make it secure as well. I can even add more. Okay, I think you get the idea what you can do here. Um, also, when you're on here, let's say I want to add contact information. I can rename these. Maybe I want to call this contact us. And I want just the public available to that one, like that. So there's how you rename these. You don't have to use the default name. Um, I can create brand new links. Maybe I want to organize these. I would create a menu item. Call this... can set destination pages. These are pages and tools, okay? But I don't have to. I can add it.
There it is in Orphan. Drag it and drop it where I want it. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to put some items underneath it just to kind of give you an idea what it looks like. And again, that's set to both. I come here to my family site and I refresh. There I can see it. Now it's a menu item with no destination, which means there's nothing to click on. It's just a menu header, basically. So I can't click on it. Where's the directory? See my little pointer changes? I can click on the directory. I can click on what's underneath it. It's just a menu header, so maybe a different way to organize your navigation. Okay. Now the side menu works very similar. I simply drag these items and drop them over where I want to. Save it when I'm done making changes. Come back to my family site. Refresh. Now personally, you can just see that my site got a little narrower, my available usage space. So personally, I don't really like to have side navigation. I like to try to get everything nice and clean up on the top if I can. That way, we'll refresh this again. That way you have more width for your pages. You don't have to deal with the navigation on the left or right side. Like I said, you can actually move these to the top or bottom of your header. They'll default to the bottom of the header. To move them to the top, this we go to Appearance. Actually, it's right here under Header. Here it is, Display Horizontal Navigation Above Header. Okay, there's plenty of things you can change in here. We'll just look at this one setting. So we're going to display it above, come back here and refresh. And now those moved up to the top. Personally, I like them below, but it's completely up to you. So again, that is under Appearance, Site Design Header. And we're going to display it below. We'll change that, to disable that setting. Update it. Refresh. There we go, back down. Go back to my navigation tool. So on the Orphan here, you're going to see a little bit difference between some of these links. These are a little lighter and a little bolder. So the bolder ones, these are predefined site tools that we create for you. So we call these site tools. Um, the lighter ones, these are actually pages that I've added to my site. So about us, this is a page that I've made. So if I were to go to pages, I'll see my about us page, testimonials, medical release. Those are pages that I've made on my site. Back to navigation, that's why they're a little bit lighter. And to add those, again, I simply just drag and drop them where I want them and set the security as needed. Okay. I could rename it here too if I wanted to, but that's what the lighter ones are. Let's say I decide that I don't want something on my navigation. Double click, delete. Save it. It's then going to reappear over here like I just deleted the calendar and a few other things. It'll reappear back over on the orphaned area. So there you have the Manage Navigation tool. Pretty straightforward tool to use. Uh, like I said, you will use this tool quite often, especially after you add a new page or new item to your site. You'll need to come in here and drag and drop those items from Orphan over to where you want them to appear on your site. The thing to remember here is after making changes, click on the Save Navigation button that will publish your navigation so families can then see what you've been working If you need further assistance, you can reach us through the link on your admin homepage. Simply click on Create a Ticket.